Hey, future Jeff. It's, um, messed up, Jeff. Say what's up. You know, I've done, I've done this before. You know, kind of, um, just kind of my feelings a little bit, I suppose. I think, um, I record myself sometimes, time to time. I've even deleted a couple of these. That might even, some of them are recently deleted, but I've, I deleted a few of these. And, you know, I think about a lot of things when I sit right here. This is, you know, the space where I sit right now. I think about everything. I think about life, think about fatherhood, I think about marriage, think about money, I think about jobs. I kind of think about everything when I sit here. And what's actually kind of refreshing a little bit is when I'm sitting down and I'm doing this, I actually, I'm actually somewhat cognizant of what I'm doing. Because I've, I've been before where I've done this and I've been not able to really understand what the fuck I'm talking about. And I go back and I watch these. It's just kind of like, wait, what was I thinking? You know, I, and, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, when I think about what? When I think about that stuff from the past, I kind of think about, like, like where am I going and, you know, where was I then? Like, I remember a couple in October I recorded. I know I recorded one in November, December. Like, sitting right here. I'm thinking the same shit. And, you know, I tell you, I, I kind of sitting in this house and thinking about everything, you know, and thinking about you know, my daughter and marriage and, and where I'm going and where I've been and kind of where am I trending towards. You know, I don't honestly, honestly really know kind of where I'm headed. And mentally, I know I'm a wreck. And I know mentally I'm not, I'm not very stable and I can't handle criticism and I can't, uh, I can't, um, I can't put it together. I really can't, I'm lost. And I know I'm lost, and that's the, that's the crazy thing. Like, we know you're lost. We know you're lost, and you know it's like you need to do something to get better. Yeah, it's like, wait, what do you do? Like, what do you, do? You talk to somebody? I mean, do you do you reach out? Do you you know you know, you know what do you do when you're lost? Kind of what what's the move? And for me, really honestly, I don't even really know what that is. And a large part of me right now does these recordings and does stuff like this because I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about my own mortality. Like, like, like where am I headed? Where am I going? Where, where am I going to be in five years? I don't know. I don't see it. I don't have any goals. I don't have any focus. I don't have any drive. I don't have anything that I can pull from. And just latch onto and go. This is it. Like this is this is this is where my strength comes from. This is where I'm gonna do whatever it might be. I I don't have that. I haven't had that my entire life. You know what's crazy is everybody everybody grows up and they go to college and they do their thing and and they uh, they have a career or some people had. Don't go to college and they have things to think about and they're going to focus on that. I didn't have any of those things. I, I, did, I didn't sit back and go, I'm going, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be this. I'm going to, I'm, this is my life is, is geared toward. I didn't have that. I never thought that. I, I didn't have that. I did, I didn't, um, I didn't, you know, manifest or think like, this is what I'm going to do. I've never had that in my entire life. And I'm going to be 29 years old in just a couple of weeks from now, and I still don't I still don't have it. You can understand, if, if I'm not here, if I'm not, if I'm for some reason not here, and you're watching this, trying to understand, Uh, kind of um, what what I'm thinking. You know, I I never once in my entire life ever said I'm gonna do this in five years. I'm gonna do this in two years. I'm gonna be this person. I I, I didn't I didn't I didn't do that. I've never had a long kind of ranging set of goals. Like I'm gonna be this guy. 
I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be this. I'm gonna I'm gonna be an astronaut. I'm gonna be a doctor. I'm gonna be an athlete. I'm gonna be a, a broadcast host. I'm gonna be whatever. Well, even now, people say I'm gonna be an influencer in social media. I never did any of that stuff. I never thought that. I just want. I just I've lackadaisically gone through life my entire life. It's like, how do we get to the next day? How do I? What's the bare minimum I've ever had to do in my life to get to the next day? That's pretty freaking lazy. To be honest, that's fucking lazy. It's 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 very lazy, and I know it's lazy, and I've always I've always known it's lazy, and I didn't care. I didn't care at all. I was just I was selfish, and I'm and I'm understanding more and more the older I get that I'm actually a pretty selfish person. It's hard for somebody like me who's actually who actually cares about people. And loves people and loves conversation and loves getting to know people. Love being the guy who takes 15 minutes to go in our room. It's hard to know, like, now, like, you're a very selfish individual at a time when you can't be selfish, but you act selfish. In these moments, these late, late night moments when I'm by myself, when nothing else distracts me, when nobody else distracts me, when I don't have, I don't think about anything else, I. In these moments think like wow like like i think my dad called it like like drunken clarity i don't i don't, I don't, I don't like, look like you've had so much to drink that you actually are like clear and i'm not there but it's like i'm experiencing clarity when everything's silent when nobody's here it's just me and i'm by myself like here's i'm actually experiencing clarity you know, and honestly, like, I don't, <sighs> you know, I, I heard this a lot. I've heard this a lot from people who have addiction or they're lost that they just, they would know it. They would realize it and they would know something has changed. They would know something's going to be, I got, I got to be different. When I need to change something, I need to address something. I need to be different. I need to be blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah. I need to also. Okay. Well, I ask you. Anybody ever sees this? Probably just me, but we don't know. What do you do? What do you... What's the move? Honestly, what's what's the move? Because I've heard people say counselors, I've heard therapy, I've heard just cut the shit out, right? I've heard it all. Okay. Okay. Then what? Then what? I'm literally freaking shaking right now. What do you do after that? Seriously, what, seriously, what do you do? I mean, riddle me that. Like, what do you do next? I don't got an answer. I don't. I don't have a plan. I don't have anything. I. I. I, 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 don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Where I'm going. All I know is I keep making the wrong step. I keep going the wrong way. I keep trending down. Whatever. Whatever term you want to use to describe it. I know that's what I'm doing. You know what's hard. I'll tell you what's hard. And for, for nobody who's ever battled addiction before, I'll tell you what's hard about addiction. You can be in the middle of it, right? You can be right now, who's drank, and you can know this is fucked. This is messed up. And then when you're actually somewhat normal and cognizant, and you're thinking, you, you, know, you know where your mind goes? It goes right back to that shit. That's what it does. Say what you want about addiction, but it's all it's all mental. I think it's mental more than it's physical. Because I've screwed over my family multiple times. Because of addiction. Stuff I didn't even know. Just hey, you need to pay a mortgage. Pay it. 
well, I'm not going to have money for substances. Okay, well, got to pay it still. That's the way bills work. Okay. Um, I don't see a way around this because I have to satisfy addition. So I'm just going to sacrifice that income for this. Or if anybody in this overseas this knows for a fact, I had a car repossessed last year in April. Because my addition let me so far, I got so far behind, and I just, I needed that money for my own personal things. And I, car, I had a car repossessed, and I ended up paying like $25 to $100 uh, past you in fees to get a car back. And I'm going through it now, where I, almost me full circle, you know, nine months later... You know, it took money that I needed for for the very thing I'm sitting in right now. To where no, I need it. I need a lot. I need this right here. And now I've got enough for two weeks to actually sustain that. So what am I gonna do? Substances are destructive. They ruin shit. Alcohol ruins lives. Nicotine ruins lives. Cocaine ruins lives. Heroin ruins I don't, I don't do cocaine or heroin, but they ruin lives. And I know that. And it's like, what do I do now to, to, to change it? And uh, my daughter's not here right now. My wife's, my wife's are sleeping right now. What do I do? I know, I know the minute this stops is a minute this kind of like odd shaking that I experience is going to be times a thousand and my body's going to go on convulsion. So I just quit old, do I quit old, do I quit, do I quit cold turkey and just go, no, done, no more, not drop more. Or do I try the wean it out phase where I slowly go less and less when I know I can't do that? What do I do? Hey, future me. Maybe you got an answer. I don't.